people with testosterone level and you've been witnessing what's been happening in the world in the last two years, I struggle to sleep at night. Literally, what's happening is crazy. I'm an individual with $50 million who can hide and disappear. If I was Joe Schmo, I'd be scared. You're out here. They're lying to you about the inflation rate. Where's your panic? Yeah. People are not panicking. They lack perspicacity. And they're not paying attention to anything. And they're just sitting there waiting for the fucking steamroller. You think in 10 years from now, things are going to be better? You out of your fucking mind? Mm. You need to prepare for this. You need a global network. You need a secret society. You need places you can hide. You need money. And you need the ability to bounce. That's what you need. What do you think? Bye, Tona. The three things all women want in men, but they will never, ever, 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 ever in a million years tell you. The very first thing that women look for in a man that they will never tell you is dedication. There's nothing more attract Dedication than a man who's dedicated. Now, this could be dedication to your purpose. This could be dedication to the gym. Maybe you're into NASCAR and you're trying to be the next Jeff Gordon. Dedication is so sexy to a woman. And the reason why they'll never tell you that it's sexy is due to the fact that it is their job to try to pull you off that dedication. Number two is leadership. Okay, leadership can be leadership verbally, leadership with a task, leadership where you're going to eat, leadership in the bedroom, right? Leadership for what you want. She needs to know that you can take the lead. When you take the lead, she's now going to say things like, he just makes me feel safe. He just makes me feel comfortable. He just makes me feel like I'm in love. And I think the most mis- Usual people on earth are those people who are born filthy rich. Imagine being born as an oil shake. Money has no value. A Ferrari, you think it's gonna make you happy? Has no value. Nothing has value. Everything is just whatever. Girls have no value. You can buy unlimited. You can buy unlimited Bugattis. You can buy whatever you want. Diamonds. It doesn't mean anything. You have to be broke to appreciate being rich. You you need that. So anyone who's sitting there going, oh, I want money. Good. How you feel now, being poor, is what's going to make you happy once you have money. This is a very key element to it. I don't know. I don't want to be able 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 to be are always open to the bigger, better deal. Well, correct. You read my book, so I mean, you got the, the piece of data from it where I was talking about how they collected surveys from women on backup plans, and more than 50% of women in relationships have a backup plan ready to go if their marriage doesn't work out. Women leave marriages like 80%, 90% of the time. It's not men leaving women, it's women leaving men, though. I'm not saying 100% of women are going to act all the time, but on a balance of probabilities, if, if they have the opportunity to move from one guy to another guy that's a better choice and there's not going to be a lot of collateral damage women are more likely than men to do that very very quickly and very easily without remorse you know at what whatever expense you know comes at the dude's cost okay it's been long time a shot do you never see that showing weakness can be a strength too Not weakness, vulnerability. That's that's a whole different thing. To admit to to admit to the fact that you're vulnerable. That's a form of courage. That's not a form of weakness. But that leads you to take whatever steps are necessary to deal with that properly. It isn't some facade that you're invulnerable. No one is invulnerable by any stretch of the imagination. And to stand up and face that is is the best route that you have. Handle rejection like Seinfeld. I've been doing a lot of things. Uh huh. Well, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> What? No, it's fine. No problem. I'll meet somebody else. <laughs> sure. See, things always even out for me. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, it's been really nice dating you for a while, and uh, good luck. <laughs> เวลาผู้หญิงอยากบอกว่าอยากจะเลิกใช่ไหมคุณก็เดินหน้าต่อไปเนาะไม่ต้องไม่ต้องคิดอะไรมันเป็นเป็นเรื่องธรรมดามันเป็นสิ่งที่มีไปตั้งโลกเกิดแล้วเนี่ยมันตั้งตั้งนานแล้วครับ
เรื่องธรรมดาเดินหน้าต่อไปหาคนใหม่จบสำหรับผมก็เหมือนกันนะก็ถ้าเป็นถ้าเป็นผู้หญิงนะถ้าผมเป็นผู้หญิงอะอยากจะมีผู้ชายแข็งแรงเนาะผมก็อยากจะอ่าทำเป็นตัวที่ผู้หญิงต้องการทั่วไป Arms were smaller than mine. One, that would make me feel self-conscious, and two, it just would not be attractive. Now, although no one ever says it, physical attributes in a man are extremely attractive. People always think that that is a bad thing, but just because you're attracted to how someone looks does not mean it's a bad thing. Um, obviously, personality is a huge thing as well, but physical attributes also just increases attractiveness so much. Do l e s look after your own. No one is poor. Eat healthy. มีเพื่อนที่ดีกินน้ำเยอะกินผักผลไม้ I remember uh, this Black Lives Matter shit. that was crazy during the pandemic and one of my girlfriends she she hit me up and she was like yo we gotta do more and I'm like what more should we do like we done been the 15 marches she was like nah but we gotta do more and I was like well what else do you want to do she was like I'm sick of these cops killing black men And I was like, "But you don't had ten abortions. You killed more black men in the city of New York City." <laughs> like, all your kids gonna be in heaven? Like, who was you? Why you marching for them other people? Why you ain't marching for us? สิ่งอย่างนี้นะครับก็เลยผมได้เรียนรู้ว่าต้องต้องดูตัวเองก่อนที่จะพูดถ้าตัวเองแบบว่าไม่ดูแลตัวเองใช่ไหมแล้วบอกว่าตัวคนอื่นว่าตัวเองไม่ดูแลตัวเองมันทำไมแล้วทำไมคนอยากจะฟังล่ะในโลกครับไม่มีความเท่าเทียมโลกมันไม่แฟร์และมันไม่แคร์
Because you don't beg the girl to go out with you. You wait. She'll call. That's not... Excuse me, hold on a second. Um, what if they don't call? They always call. No, what about people who aren't you? You mean you? Yeah, of course I do. If they don't call, then they don't call. But once they smell your desperation, they won't respect you and they'll never get what you want anyway. ใช่ครับคุณไม่ควรคอร้องผู้หญิงอะไรทุกอย่างนะครับคุณถ้าคุณอยากจะได้อะไรคุณก็ไปคว้าเอาเองนะคุณเป็นตัวเป็นต้องเป็นผู้ใหญ่เนาะต้องต้องโตแล้วช่วยตัวเองให้ได้ไม่ต้องถามคนเดินถ้าถ้าต้องการความเชื่อจริงๆก็ก็ถามแต่ไม่ขอเรามีคนอื่นมากมายที่จะให้ความช่วยเหลือได้หรือว่าว่าวันที่ยูเว่ช่วยขอ That's not Excuse me hold on a second um what if they don't call They always call No what about people who aren't you You mean you Yeah of course I do So part of the way, way that women solve the problem that you're just describing And I'm, I'm not saying anything for this or against this. This is a purely factual biological claim. Is they pick a monogamous marriage and they cheat with high-status guys. Now you know, obviously, in the confines of the marriage, that's a terrible thing. But that's a very uncomfortable subject, though, <laughs> for women in particular. Oh, is they pick a monogamous marriage and they cheat with high-status guys. Now you know, obviously, in the confines of the marriage, that's a terrible thing. But. That's a very uncomfortable subject, though, <laughs> for women in particular. Oh, it's an uncomfortable subject for everyone. Right. They don't like the idea that this is a common thing. Hmm? That women choose a safe. If man. That is willing to be monogamous with them, and perhaps maybe they're above him in a social class or in uh, sexually, and then they'll cheat with yeah. someone who is yeah. above well, it's them. Well, it's common, but it's not the norm, right? It's still right. the norm not to do that. The norm right. is fidelity. Right. But. มันเป็นเรื่องธรรมดาถ้าถ้าผู้หญิงมันผมไม่แคร์อะไรมากเรื่องธรรมดาถ้าจะเป็นก็จะเป็นธรรมชาติ But there's plenty of exception. Kid, what are you up to, Kun? Are you not listening to me? Do you not hear me? Now you just want to walk away. I'm telling you that I'm right. You're not. See, I'm right. I'm always right. What is it? Are you not listening to me? Yo, what's more important, us creating peace or you being right? Girl, we are arguing, and he's starting to make good points and make sense, and I don't know what to do. Babe, just bring up something dumb he did from a year ago, and it'll be fine. It'll work. You're right. Oh, well, you're right. So can we talk now? Or remember that time last year when you said you were going to boys' night, but everybody brought their girlfriend but you? You remember that? And everybody was on their Instagram live with with their girlfriends except me, huh? You remember that? ผู้หญิงแบบนี้นะครับตัดออกไปเลยเพราะว่าเขาจะทําให้ชีวิตคุณเครียดมากแล้วคุณจะนอนไม่หลับสุขภาพไม่ดีแล้วชีวิตจะซึมเศร้าหน่อยครับมันผู้หญิงแบบนี้แบบยังยังยังโตยังโตไม่เต็มครับต้องตัดออกมีแต่ชีวิตคุณจะมีแต่แค่แต่ดราม่าดราม่ามีแต่ทะเลาะกันตัดออกครับคุณมีคุณค่าคุณมีคุณพันคุณภาพแล้วตัดออกไปเลย Women confuse this very often. They talk about the fact that men have all the power, men make all the money, 
Men are in charge and we oppress women. Let me make something very clear to you. Okay. Firstly, you're confusing 1% of men with all men. The majority of men have no money, no power, no sex from their wife, Facts. no fucking chance in court. They can't even keep their house. They won't get to see their kids. and they don't. So most men, their life sucks. That's the first thing. The second thing, when a man gets up at 4 in the morning to go carry garbage to earn a good wage, he ain't thinking, I'm going to do this so I can oppress that bitch because she's broke. <laughs> He's doing it thinking so I can provide for my family, so my woman can stay at home and raise my kids and have nice nails while I'm out here carrying trash. You go to a coal mine, those dudes are not down there thinking about oppressing women. They're down there thinking about providing for women. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that there's not bad apples, but in general, us men are prepared to take on more bullshit to protect you than you would possibly believe. And in the, the modern world, they've spun that. Feminism spun that. Men make all the men money. You women need more money because men make the money and men are in charge and men have the good jobs. Men are out here giving up their fucking life for you two. Wow. Wow. <laughs> เจ๋งจริงๆเลยเขาพูดเขาพูดจริงเขาผู้ชายไม่ได้ทํางานเพื่อจะจะกดดันผู้หญิงอะไรกันนั้นเพื่อแต่เขาอยากจะดูแลรักสนับสนุนแฟนแล้วปกป้อง I think that enrages me more than fat models. <laughs> There is nothing that enrages me more than fat m o d e Okay, let me just say something. As a comic. We want attention. Mm -hmm. We don't feel like we deserve it, so we make you laugh. So there's an even exchange. I get my attention. You get some joy. Yeah. Okay. Right. An actor, they want attention. They're not willing to write the script, but they'll memorize some lines. They'll do a little bit of effort to get the attention. A regular model, at least she's willing to lose weight so that she can be looked at. But these fat bitches are just like, look at me. You still I deserve to be looked at. Stop using the word look at bitches this. in 2019. Look at that. What the fuck? The, that's the plus size model mannequin. This is the, 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 only, the only. That thing doesn't enrage you guys. The only thing. I That doesn't enrage you no. that they're like just stare at me. I'm gonna eat bread all day. <laughs> no, but you should stare at. When you're in a relationship, what are the, some of the techniques that you'll use to like nag the guy so we can look out for those as men? I don't know, just lower his self-esteem, I guess, calling him names or something. Because those are some of the things you've done with him in the past. Uh, yeah, I guess. What are some of the mean things that you've said to your boyfriend, even though he's doing his best? If they have like a dream or something, you know, like try to insult that to kind of like get them down, I guess. Just tell him like you're nobody. Your rap career is not going to work out. What's the ultimate goal? Just to keep him in like a, a constant state of like uh, depression. Um, I guess kind of like make them doubt themselves about like who they are as a person and like their own personalities and stuff like that. I guess, yeah. Okay, thanks. That's great. We'll we'll watch out for that. Ooh. แต่ผมประทับใจนะที่เขาพูดตรงเขามั่นใจตัวเองนั่นเจ็บนะเนี่ยรู้สึกเจ็บมากเลยแต่เขาพูดตรง There's a reason education sucks and it's the same reason that it will never ever ever be fixed it's never going to get any better don't look for it be happy with what you got because the owners of this country don't want that I'm talking about the real owners now The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets, and they own all the big media companies. So they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Ooh, kid, w a n g a i k a n k r a p Yes, thank you. Uh, they didn't come.
come to hear you, they came to hear us. I think what people lose sight of is the fact that these are just jokes, okay? What we say up here is not to be taken seriously, okay? You'd be amazed. Like, some people have the audacity to call me a racist when my wife is Mexican. It's like, how can I be racist when I'm married to a lower race? Why don't you answer me that? อู้เก่งจริงๆครับนักลอกคนนี้ I don't think most women can actually genuinely understand how lonely the majority of men are and you need you need to truly understand if you're Joe Schmo <laughs> average in nearly every way in Starbucks working you ain't getting a DM ever you girls you girls you girls will never be lonely As much as you might be unhappy with the possible suitors, you can at least fuck about and flirt if you feel sad. There are men out here in the world who have genuine loneliness. I and mean, I can prove this statistically. Why do you think it's all the men killing themselves compared to the women? ก็ถูกต้องนะเนี่ยเขาชื่อว่าแอนดรูเทตคนนี้เจ๋งจริงๆเลยเนี่ยเขารู้เขารู้ดี In what sense is our society male-dominated? Uh, the fact that the vast majority of wealth is owned by men, the vast majority of capital and is owned by men. Women do more unpaid a labor. Very tiny proportion of men, and a huge proportion of people who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who are uh, on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. Most people who commit suicide are men. Uh, most men, most people who die in wars are men. People who do worse in school are men. It's like, where's the dominance here precisely? What you're doing is you're taking a tiny substrata of hyper successful men and using that to represent the entire structure of, the, of Western society. There's nothing about that that's vaguely appropriate. คนนี้เขาชื่อว่า Jordan Peterson มีความรู้เขานับเขาเป็นนักจิตวิทยานะครับเจ๋งมากเขามีหนังสือชื่อว่า The Twelve Rules of Life ก็คือภาษาไทยก็แปลว่า12กฎของชีวิตเขาขายหนังสือไปได้12ล้านเล่มเจ๋งจริงๆครับ If you take the one in a hundred most aggressive people, they're all male, and that's why the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Now, do you want to equalize that? Just out of curiosity, what about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the, and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? What I'm trying to equalize is, is opportunity and choice. Fine. And Let's I, equalize choice. You agree, choice. You agree, you agree, you agree on that. that. But we won't get equal outcome think, that uh, way. And I think that what happens then, uh, nobody knows because we, we've, we've never done it yet. We do know. But we know what's happened in Scandinavia, happened, but it's not Scandinavia fully got, got there. Finished, no, yeah. but it's going in the opposite direction that everyone predicted. And so ชีวิตไม่มีความเท่าเทียมครับผู้ชายกับผู้หญิงแตกต่างกันฮอร์โมนผู้หญิงฮอร์โมนผู้ชายแตกต่างกันผู้หญิงชอบทำงานที่มีสังคมอย่างเช่นพยาบาลที่มีคนผู้ชายชอบทำงานที่แบบวิทยาศาสตร์คณิตศาสตร์นั่นแหละไม่เป็นไรครับมันมันเรื่องธรรมดาผมก็แพ้ในเกมอะไรกันอื่นด้วยมันมันก็แค่ผู้ชายอายุสิบห้าชนะผู้หญิงออสเตรเลียชาติชาติออสเตรเลียผู้หญิงนักนักบอลแห่งชาติในออสเตรเลียก็แค่นี้เองผู้ชายเอาเอาใหม่นะผู้ผู้ชายอายุเด็กชายอายุสิบห้าไม่ใช่เด็กชายผู้ชายอายุสิบห้าชนะนักบอลออสเตรเลียทีมชาติโดย70โอเคนะแค่70เอง
เล่นก็เล่นกันสนุกแหละไม่ต้องไม่ต้องเสียเรียนอะไรมาก How's this for subtle? You take a guy and you show him the picture of someone of the opposite sex if he is heterosexual, and you show him the picture of this individual, and if it is someone who he assesses as being attractive, you don't necessarily get this dopaminergic pathway to activate. It depends. What this study showed was if the person is making what would pass for eye contact if they are looking straight out, the dopamine system activates. And if they're looking elsewhere, it doesn't activate. How's that for classic male sort of responsiveness? If it looks as if this attractive person is looking at you, it activates. Even more distressingly, from this study, when you show men on the average blah blah pictures of women who they would rate as being unattractive, it's when they're looking away that the dopamine system activates. Oh my God! What is going on? ก็นี่คือธรรมชาติเนาะสำหรับผู้หญิงกับผู้ชายแตกต่างกันไม่รู้จะพูดยังไงเนี่ยเหมือนจะเป็นความจริงหน่อยนะ If a woman dumps you, there's only one thing that you can do. All you can do is you just need to look at her and you say, "Okay." She instantly second guesses herself because here's what happens: when a woman says, "I just don't think I can do this anymore. I'm not really feeling it anymore." What she's hoping for, what she's praying for, what she actually thinks will happen is that you will get in a reactive state and you will get emotional. Okay, the second you do that, you prove her right. For many times, this is a massive test, and when you pass this test by just saying, "Okay, all right, leave them," when you're able to do that, I have watched women break down in tears and say, "I was just kidding. I was just testing. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I shouldn't have done that. I effed up." There will be women that say that, and here's why: when you're able to just look a woman dead in the eyes and you just say the words, "Okay," this shows massive strength. d i n g jing. ดีจริงๆถ้าผู้หญิงบอกว่าอยากจะเลิกก็บอกว่าโอเค Are you vaccinated? If I yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm very, very pro vaccination. Yeah. We've uh, it's, the science is unequivocal. Yeah. I treat it to that effect. But by the same token, I I am against forcing people to be vaccinated. You know, I think this is just not something we should do in America. I think we should encourage people to be vaccinated. Strongly try to convince them to be vaccinated, right. but not force them to be vaccinated, or, or for example, force them to get vaccinated or get fired. Hmm. You can suggest people, but you can't force them to get vaccinated. Okay. Say, say LeBron James uh, changed his gender. You know what I mean? Okay. Can he stay in the NBA or? Because he's a woman, does he have to go to the WNBA, where he will score 840 points a game? What does it actually mean to be equal? You know what I mean? Like women are actually equal to men, then there would be no WNBA, would there? You would just be good enough to play in the NBA with us, or. Here's another idea. This is going to be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up.
ผู้หญิงกับผู้ชายแตกต่างกันครับเราไม่สม่ำเสมอเพราะว่าเราแตกต่างกัน This is what girls mean when they text. How tall are you? She doesn't date short guys. You seem like so much fun to hang out with. She wants to hang out with you. We'll hang out when I'm less busy. You guys aren't hanging out. Sorry, I just haven't been on my phone in the last three days. She forgot to text you back. Miss me yet? She misses you. Do you think she's prettier than me? We don't know why they do this. It's a trap. We haven't figured it out. I hate my dad. I just don't want to be in a relationship right now. She doesn't want to be in a relationship with you right now. LOL. What you said wasn't. No relationship with you right now. Hello. Ooh. Well, what you said wasn't funny, and it's under council review. I don't care either way. She wants things to be exactly the way she wants it. Hey. She doesn't want to f you just because she used a bunch of whys, and the fact that you thought that says more about you. คุณคิดยังไงครับ Hey babe, can you take me somewhere expensive tonight? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um. You have to get out of the car to pump gas. Pump gas. I'm not here for gas. Then why are we at the gas station? So you want to go someplace expensive? Yes. 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 เออเงินเฟ้อเนาะแล้วก็หลายอย่างเนี่ยมันก็สงครามด้วยตอนนี้สําหรับประเทศยูเครนกับรัสเซียมันเลยทําให้ปั๊มปั๊มน้ำมันน้ำมันเนาะก็แพงขึ้นหน่อยเขาเลยเอาแฟนมามาให้เห็นดูอะไรแพงๆเนาะโอเคต้องต้องตรงแล้วแล้วตรงแล้วบอกความจริงวันนี้มันตอนนี้มันแพง Asian parents wanting their kids to be doctors it's weird because it's true right I know because my parents were the same way They just wanted us to be doctors. It was like this obsession. Because when Asian parents want their kids to be doctors, helping people is like on the bottom of a list of reasons. If it even makes the list of reasons to go into medicine, helping people is like the unfortunate byproduct. It's about the money and the prestige, right? It's the money and the prestige. Because if you're a first-generation immigrant, your children becoming doctors is the quickest way. You can turn it around in one generation. Instant credibility, instant respectability, instant money. And it's also weird because Asian parents are also the last group of people you can ever convince to see a doctor. Jing Bao, Jing Bao. I learned myself. I had a brother friend, great guy, best looking guy. Best personality, much better than mine. But he had a problem. He had a problem with alcohol, and he would tell me, "Don't drink, don't drink." He was substantially older, and I listened to him and I respected. But he would constantly tell me, "Don't drink." He'd also add, "Don't smoke," but he would say it over and over and over again. And to this day, I've never had a drink. And I have no longing for it. อย่าดื่มเหล้า I have no interest in it. To this day, I've never had a cigarette. I had somebody that guided me, and he had a very, very, very tough life because of alcohol. Believe me. The fact is, if we can teach young people and people generally not to start, it's really, really easy not to take them. อย่าเริ่มอย่าเริ่มอย่าเริ่มเล่า What is like respectful in a relationship? Like Trusting the person and not paying somebody to see if they were cheap. But it happened. Not true. You went on a date with this girl. It wasn't a date. She literally told me that you took her out to eat. Oh. No. Yeah, and you guys hooked up. You can't sit here and deny that. I am denying because it's not true. It, okay. 
Sure. She's a client, and after we were working out, we got food, which was across the street. That's where not we what walked. she told me. That's what I'm telling you. She told you. me you guys had sex. I'm telling you, we did it. So, are you saying she's lying? I'm saying she's lying. Let's find out from her. Okay. Paula, can you tell him what you told me? So, I pretty much told her that you took me to this really fancy restaurant, and afterwards, we went back to my place and hooked up. And that he came on to you in the car, and you guys are kissing. Yes. Yeah, see? Well, why would you sit here and lie? I lied because... So you weren't telling Wait. the truth? I didn't think that she deserved you, so I lied. Oh We're my god. I'm going to get the girls to go first, and then the boys. I find that offensive. What? Don't call us girls. Don't call us girls. That's sexist. But that's what you are, a fucking girl. Don't call us that. Do you have a pussy and tits? Answer me, do you have a pussy and tits? Yes, I do. Then you're a fucking girl! Shut up! <laughs> What's... <laughs> What's the difference between a boy and a girl? Well, boys like doing like rough sort of stuff and girls like doing kind of like kind and soft. Girls are gentle. Yeah. And boys are vicious animals. Yeah. The boy has thicker hair than the girl. Thicker? Thick. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Girls like pink, boys don't. Sometimes boys like pink, and sometimes girls don't like pink, right? Yeah. Girls shop a lot, boys don't. Sometimes boys shop a lot, I though. Know. Boys like to um, watch TV a lot, and girls don't. They don't? I think some girls do. Mm. This is hard. Yeah, this is hard. This is a prime example of the feminist movement backfiring because there's no difference between man and woman anymore. If this was if this was 1990, then yeah, somebody would have gotten up. 2005, heck yeah, somebody would have gotten up. But in 2021, absolutely not. We've been indoctrinated to believe that men and women are the same. So why would a man get up and let his seat be given to a woman? She's not weaker. So why would he give it to you? A man's not stronger. So why would he get up and stand? So now we're the same. So then when we're in situations like this and you get treated the same way a man gets and you don't get the privileges anymore of being a woman, like, oh, we're going to open the door or we're going to let you sit, you don't get those privileges anymore because we're the same, right? We can arm wrestle and you'll beat me, right? Yeah. So you can blame the feminist movement because you've lost your privileges as a woman because we're the same. <laughs> <laughs> Women who say I'm old fashioned, I don't make the first move. I always say then you're not old fashioned. Because a hundred years ago, a woman would walk past a guy, drop her handkerchief, and keep walking. Mm. The guy would see it, he'd say, This is an extraordinary opportunity to be a man. Yes. He'd pick up the he'd handkerchief, rescue the girl, walk yes. it over to her, and say, Madam, you dropped this. And she'd say, Did I? And they'd now have a conversation. <laughs> now, he thought it was his idea. Yes, and she was clumsy. She chose him. Wow. So I say to women, listen, this isn't about reversing roles here and you suddenly doing the guy's job. It's about you doing what women have always done wow. and dropping the handkerchief. Jingle. Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? There is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're 7th in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, 3rd in median household income, number 4 in labor force, and number 4 in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. Now, none of this is the fault of a 20-year-old college student, but you nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period, generation period ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yosemite? America. America. 
What do you think of like, transgenders going and reading nursery stories and from and leave the girl? kids alone? If you want to chop your dick off, I have nothing against that. I'm not anti-gay. I'm not anti-transgender. I'm not anti any of these things. What I'm, what I am anti, is propagating your worldview on other people's children. If you're gay and you can't have kids, why do you now believe it's your right to go to other people's kids and tell them how to think? If you've decided that the type of sex you want to have will prevent you from recreate from procreating, that's your decision, right? You've decided that having sex with women isn't worth it for you. You don't want to have children. You want to have sex with men. Fine, your decision, and you're entitled to it. That does not give you the entitlement to go to other people's families who did decide to have children and raise them and try and program their children. Leave the kids alone. You can be as transgender as you like. Don't come talk to my kid about it. That's my child. I will program my child with my worldviews. I raise them. I pay for them. They're my kid. They're not your kid. And they're not the government's kid. What do you think of it? Hmm. He has a feeling that this is a feeling. Andrew Tate. Okay.